Several years ago, a friend of mine gave me some tie-dye roses for my birthday. After I enjoyed them, I hung them upside down to dry in my home office. They have been in the same spot until recently when my one-year-old cat found them. He started smacking them around and pushing the dried petals all over my room. Luckily, a few of my dried roses survived and I took this as a sign to do something with them now. I got out my resin skull mold and pre-mixed some resin using the instructions on the bottle. I will list all products I am using in the description box below. Before I added resin into the mold, I poured some resin on top of my dried rose to help minimize any air bubbles that might occur when I place the rose into the resin. I am letting the excess resin drizzle into the mold to minimize waste. I placed the rose into the mold and I added some resin. Once I knew the flower was in place, I added more resin into the mold until it was a little over halfway full. I had a hard time with this flower. It kept wanting to float to the top of the resin. I had hoped that by saturating the rose at the beginning that the flower would be heavy enough to stay towards the bottom of the mold. I was wrong. I've tried multiple things to push the rose down into the resin, including a clothespin and cups. I finally decided I added too much resin to the mold right now, so I poured some of it out. This worked perfect. Now that the rose is in place, I will cover and let this cure for 24 hours. It's looking good. With this next layer, I will add some silver leaf flakes into the clear resin. These flakes can be a little messy if you're not careful and a little goes a long way. Once the flakes are mixed, I will pour the resin into the top part of the mold and I will let it cure for another 24 hours. Now for the fun, demolding and seeing the results of our project. This mold can be a little tough to demold and I don't want to tear it. I will mix up some water and a little bit of dish soap and pour it into the sides of the mold. This will help it release easier. Now the resin will slide out of the mold with minimal problems. Look how awesome this looks. This is so much more amazing than I imagined. I am so glad I did this with these roses. Let me know in the comments below if you have worked with resin and dried flowers before. I would love to hear how it went for you. Thank you for creating this project with me and I'll see you in the next video.